I'm Bobby Broyles here at the 2010 CA Men's Soccer Championship Banquet hosted by William & Mary. And speaking of the tribe, I'm here with head coach of the William & Mary tribe, Chris Norris. Coach, congratulations on your Coach of the Year award. Uh, just talk about the award and what it means to you. Well, I mean, really, the, the award uh, typically goes to the coach of the team who wins the regular season, and, and uh, therefore it's, it's really a function of, of the team and the players that we have and our staff and, and uh, our administration and all the support. It's been a great year for us, and uh, it's really a credit to the university what, uh, what our kids have done this year. Well, I mean, it's been a great ride for us. Um, we started out the season knowing that, that our strength would be our experience, and uh, we've got a, a, a big and a deep group of seniors, and they've been invaluable this year in, in guiding our, our team to uh, the kind of success that we've had. And um, I think that, that it's really led to a great deal of consistency in our performances, and uh, that, that has translated, fortunately for us, to a lot of good results. I'm here with freshman and defensive player of the year from the Hofstra Pride, Sean Foster, first of all. No other CA men's soccer player ever won both awards. How shocked are you here this evening? Uh, yeah, um, extremely shocked. I didn't really expect it. Um, but I don't really believe in personal awards. I, uh, it's more of a team award. Um, I've had some good players around me this year, good goalkeepers. Um, we've defended well from the front, so I'd like to, well, these are for my team as, as much as they are for me. And speaking of your team, you, you guys have been on a roll the last six games, especially on defense, haven't allowed a goal. Just talk about the momentum you guys are bringing into this tournament this weekend. Yeah, I think we've hit form at a, well, a very good time. We've hit it at a really, a really good time to hit it, really. Um, we're not conceding many goals, but these playoffs could go either way. I think any team could win it here. Um, and like you say, just whoever performs well on the day. And what, are, what does Hofstra have to do this weekend to keep this momentum going and to come away with a championship? Um, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I think you're saying um, don't concede goals. If you don't concede goals, you can't really lose a game. So um, I think if we can keep it tight at the back, and I, I'm pretty sure we can make chances against all the teams here, um, hopefully we stick one away and we could come away as champions. And now what did the Tribe have to do this weekend to come away with the championship? You got the home field advantage behind you. You didn't have that in previous conference championships. Now what did the Tribe have to do to come away with the title? Well, I mean, I think our... our uh motto all along has just been uh, focus on the the next performance and the next game and and you know try to make sure that uh, we don't get too caught up in any of the external stuff whether that's the, the fact that it is a championship that it is postseason play whether it's you know the opponent that we're facing or or the prospect of of trying to extend our season even further um, this group based on our experience and consistency has been fantastic in terms of uh, really being able to compartmentalize and focus on, on just trying to have a good performance each time out, and, and that'll be our focus again tomorrow night. Well, Coach, congratulations and good luck this weekend. Once again, we're here at the 2010 CA Men's Soccer Championship Banquet. Stay with casports.com all weekend long for video highlights and recaps.